I'm going to tell the story about the walls that reside in Demosinian Hall, which resides in North Campus at the University of Georgia. And I take it that we have some alumni here. Anybody from UGA or anybody spend any time or go to the University, University of Georgia? I got one, definitely. Um, so to paint a picture, because it sounds like we don't have a lot of people who've been there, but to paint a picture for you, uh, Demosinian Hall is this small um, yellow building. It looks like a house. Um, it doesn't really fit in with your typical giant brick or glass building that you would find on a university campus. It's in North Campus, which is a beautiful part of the University of Georgia campus. It has, um, it is a green field with crossing cross, uh, sidewalks. It has a romantic array of oak trees. Um, directly behind the hall, you will find Hurdy Field, where University of Georgia played its first football games. Go dogs! And you would also find uh, the um, infamous University of Georgia bell, which most people ring after graduation or most people ring after a night out on Broad Street. Um, I remember that bell for it going um, intensely. Uh, I had no idea what, for what reason it was going so intensely until I read the news and saw that Osama bin Laden had been assassinated. So that was, give you an idea for how uh, central that, it, that piece of campus is to the broader Athens community, that is that. Um, to better understand uh, Demosinian Hall, it would be helpful to know what goes on in the hall. So it uh, houses the Demosinian Literary Society. It's a student campus and uh, they do extemporaneous debate on Thursday nights. There's two floors of this hall. The first floor is just a, a library, a small library, couches, um, an office where students study throughout the week. It is the only student-owned building on campus. Um, the upper changer, the upper, uh, excuse me, the upper level is a bit odd. Um, it is a stadium-style so seating of old wooden uh, wooden seats and chairs. Um, the building and these chairs are from when it was built originally in 1824, so it's pretty old. The chairs squeak quite a bit. Um, and in the upper chamber, as we call it, there is a lectern uh, around which you have these stadium seats. And from that lectern, that is where they have the debate. Um, every Thursday night, there is extemporaneous debate that goes on in the upper chamber of Demosinian Hall. And I was fortunate enough to part participate in it when I was at the University of Georgia. Um, there are two competing debate societies at the University of Georgia. The other one is right across North Campus called Phi Kappa Literary Society. And uh, when I was choosing and when most people try and figure out which society they want to join, if they want to join one or the other, um, they usually go with Demosinian if they uh, don't want to do any preparation because our debate is extemporaneous and impromptu, or they go to the other side if um, they, they are very sturdious and a bit nerdy. Um, the... The history of um, the history of Demosinian, the Demosinian Literary Society, is very much a history of the University of Georgia, a history of the state of Georgia, and a history of the South. In that hall, in the upper chamber, there would have been debated, um, and most likely emph emphatically agreed upon, the, uh, the institution of slavery and the causes of the Civil War. Um, in that chamber. Demosinian Literary, Literary Society organized um, race riots to protest and to impede the desegregation that happened in the, United, uh, in the University of Georgia in the 1950s and 60s. You would have seen um, segregationist and racist politicians uh, come through those halls. Alex Alexander Stevens, Vice President of the Confederacy, Herman Talmadge, um, a dogmatic segregationist senator from the state of Georgia. Um, but you would have also seen some incredible things. You would have seen Crawford Long, who um, pioneered the use of ether as an anesthetic um, in the 1850s. You would have seen students debating science and physics in an era when you could only learn about the Bible and uh, you could only go to the University of Georgia with the object of being a pastor in a church. Um, in current days, you, you 
might be disappointed. Um, it's a very nerdy debate society. Every Thursday they're still debating, debating all the political and philosophical issues of our day. And as the night goes on and everyone imbibes more and more, you start to debate more so dick jokes than you do um, <laughs> any meaningful s substance. Um, if those walls could talk, they would uh, talk about the students who study in their off time, who come in late at night and pass out on the couch on their way home from a night out. Um, it would talk about uh, the relationships that they've seen molded, the ideas that they've seen um, um, in that upper chamber. And because and ever since it's been a co-educational co uh, organization in the 1970s, it would talk a lot, a lot about all of the sex that it's seen in the upper chambers <laughs> late at night. <laughs> if those walls could talk, it would be, um, it would be encouraging, and it would be uh, probably a bit aghast at everything that it's seen, and maybe a little exhausted, but also ready for more.